You are now live. Okay. Da -da -da. Happy Monday! We are meditating today. I just don't know how to... How to like make a con... A... a um... Hello, happy Monday. What's this about? Oh. Let me just get us some Zen music going. How are you all? This is actually my, I think this is like my second time going live. But I would like to make it a continuous practice because, um, hello, because it's something that I do when I was at meditation with the monk last weekend and they're just like, what can you do to be generous? How can you help other people? And I'm like, I am just always so in my, my, my hermit, in my, myself, and I'm like, let me just share myself with the world and stop freaking, not necessarily hiding, but really, really just protecting myself, I guess, so, let's do this. So one thing I, like while people come in, let's talk about meditation and just how important it is for us humans. Like it's so important for us to be able to take the time aside and truly um, take time for self. It's like how many times a day do you truly just stop and sit and think about the things that you have going on. And this isn't a prompt to overthink. It's not a prompt to dive just deep, deep, deep. It's really just to stop and, and commend yourself for what you've done so far for the day. Commend yourself for how far you've come. I mean, every single day can end up being the exact same. I mean, we could end up in a loop of sameness over and over and over, and we never get to just pat ourselves on the back and just say thank you, self. Thank you, self, for cooking me breakfast this morning. Thank you, self, for going on that walk. Thank you, self, for joining a live that says meditation. Like, truly. It's amazing. So I am all about self-love, self-empowerment, and just embodying self because in a world that capitalizes on our self-hatred and our self-doubt, it is a rebellious act to love ourselves. So I'm the one that's in your face that's like, stop. Stop being down on yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Okay, so That is What that is I'm just gonna back up a little bit <laughs> Now when it comes to meditation you we don't always have to be uh, sitting like my friend back here, <laughs> cross legs and arms like the hands at heart center in this way. You don't always have to do things that way, but uh, what you you can literally meditate anywhere. If you are at work, you can just shut the computer down and look at something else, okay? Shut the computer down and look out the window and gaze out the window for five minutes to yourself. 
You can go on a walk, that's meditative. You can clean, that's meditative. You can do something that you can do systematically, essentially. Um, some pe For some people, work is meditative because they're able to get into that flow and you're not overthinking, you're not overthinking your thoughts. So another thing about meditation that I would love for you guys to um, see and or just understand is that you're not trying to silence your thoughts okay you're not working to be silent like that's not the that's not the goal it's it's so that you can watch your thoughts and i learned this in yoga years and years and years ago and it actually changed my life okay I was that person that would overthink every single thing. If I had something to think about, I I would think of it and think of it and think of it until I couldn't think of it anymore. And the only way that I couldn't think of it anymore was to relieve the pressure and just figure it all out. And while yes, it did work for me, it's not it's not recommended. All you have to do is take a deep breath let it out deep breath let it out mm. and immediately you'll feel you'll feel your thoughts calm a little bit more a little bit more they become a little bit more calm as you you're focusing on your breath and you realize you know what what was I even thinking about? <laughs> what was I overthinking about? This is so silly. And so keep inviting those deep breaths. Take a really, really big, deep inhale into your lungs. Hold it at the top. And let it release. And continue to do that over and over and over as you invite this delicious breath into your body. And release over and over as many times as, as it feels good to do so. Soon after you are doing it naturally, soon after you are just simply being and that's something that is just kind of looked over sometimes throughout the days and throughout the just the days you can be going 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 doing all of this work and and you never took the time for yourself and then maybe you may say oh you know i'll do it later i'll meditate before bed or i'll do it just just later later and later and later and then all of a sudden your whole day has been for other people. It has been for other energies and you were never able to take that time to yourself. And yes, it is great to meditate before bed. I just encourage you that when you get the thought to meditate, you get the thought, I need a break, I need to meditate, do it right then and there. Right then and there, everything stops. There's nothing more important than your health, your mental health and your groundedness within your body, within your soul, within who you are. So take that time, keep inviting those deep breaths. Just like that. And feel your rib cage expand, feel it contract. Feel it expand, feel it contract. And that simple action right there is giving you, giving you all kinds of life, giving you all kinds of energy that you may not have had access to if you didn't take the time to stop and breathe and feel yourself and your body. You're here, you are whole and you, you're everything, okay? all of the things out there all of the things outside of who you are those are not calling to you nothing is pressing you right now okay this is 
your time, your practice. And so what I'm gonna do right now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do I don't we're gonna do it as long as we want, but we're gonna do one segment of uh, meditation right now. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So go ahead and invite those deep breaths. And keep your eyes open or you may close them mm. but let us ascend good vibes
move on to five minutes, move on to 10 minutes, move on to an hour. Oh my goodness, that was a big jump. <laughs> but truly, truly just inviting intentional breath, intentional thought, intentional being into your vessel, into your body, into your soul will truly enhance who you are. You'll find ways back to yourself so, so much faster. And beginning for me, I started doing it at noon because, well, there's the work day, okay? You wake up, what, at like 7, 8, there's the work day, and it's ticking along, it's going along, and then you are at... You're at noon. Well, you're at 11, 11.30, and it's just like foot tapping. You're like, I have this much to do for the rest of the day. I gotta do this, I have this tonight, I have this. Pause. Pause for just a moment with yourself, even if it's just three minutes, and you're gonna pause, and you're gonna think of nothing nothing in particular you'll sit with yourself and watch your thoughts come and go arrive and release arrive and release and if you do find yourself attaching to thoughts that come up you could create a dialogue within yourself and just say okay self i'll think about that later Thanks for bringing that to my awareness. And then allow the next thought to come. Because what we want to avoid when we're meditating is trying to control our thoughts, trying to direct our thoughts, trying to make this an experience that we want it to be, that we need it to be. Because the only way through is to be to just be allow the things to arrive to you because one thing i want to remind you is that we are not here to think everything through we are not here to just be thinking 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 all the time we are here to feel we are here to be we are here to exist and within this society, within the uh, places that we're born and the religions and the parents and the friends and all the things tugging at us, they tell us, you gotta be this, you gotta do this, you gotta go do that, oh, you did that, okay, do that next. Have you ever realized that when you are, something great happens and you do celebrate, it's gone in an instant. It, it, you barely even take the time to celebrate. Take the time to soak in that lesson that you've learned. Take the time to truly embody what it is that, you, that you've created. Look at who you are today, okay? Every moment that has led to this day, you did that. You did that. And notice that I haven't even mentioned the spirit guides. I haven't even mentioned the ancestors. Some of you who um, attribute your power and yourself to God, not even mention God. This is about you. This is about how you can show up for you. How can you be? How can you be more you, okay? How can you show up more as you? We commend, we thank, and we honor the spirit guides, the ancestors, the gods, the goddesses, the angels, and everyone who's with us and helps us along the way. But a lot of times, and many of you are pushing all of your motivation and your, your attributions of self to those energies and never ever bringing it back to self never ever commending self for it okay and it's just so important to truly take that time to say thank you self for what i have done what i have created here you can thank the powers that be but please do not forget to bring it back to you there's so much here that needs you 
that needs you, that lives for you, and capitalizes on you not loving yourself. There are so many energies pulling at us within this material plane that says, no, you're not enough, you're not enough, you're not enough, let me help you be enough. And then I'm here to tell you, and it's, it is this kind of, it's this balance, right? Because as a coach, as coaches, we are looking for people that, that do lack that self-love and need the push, but here's the thing. I'm here to let you know that your light that you are searching for, whether receiving a coach or not, is within you. It is all yours. Everything you desire, everything you embody, everything you intend to have is all within you. It's not out there, I promise you. <laughs> you may see some representations of something that you would like, but don't ever forget that that what you need is in here, okay? Normalize taking breaths. When someone asks you something, when someone initiates you into something, normalize pausing. Let me ask my body, let me ask my vessel, let me ask myself what I believe about this, what I think about this. One moment. You may find that in an instant, your answer would have been yes. Your answer would have been just to go along with whatever someone said to go along. However, when you sit and you, you, you are building that relationship with yourself, when you sit for that moment and you think about it and you feel, no, not think about it, when you feel about it, <laughs> you may find that that answer is actually no. I actually don't want to do that. I actually respectfully and kindly, I appreciate the invitation. However, energetically, I am not able to commit to that. I release that. Just say no. I will be doing so, so many workshops, especially uh, boundary setting. I will teach you how to say no. <laughs> I'm the queen of boundaries. Um, excuse me. I am just a firm believer in creating the self foundation of who we are and what we are. One moment, I need a drink. Yes. You know, I appreciate so much when I am initiating, my, me speaking is initiating. And so when people go against their emotions and their call within to say yes to me, it's just not ideal. So I truly appreciate when someone is able to say, one moment, Melanie. I cannot, I cannot commit to that. So much appreciation. So I am going to, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into our meditation. We're gonna leave on a note of breathing, coming back. Let's go back to the love, the self-love, the foundational love, and just know that you are loved you are love like you literally are the embodiment of love and as soon as you forget that well that's when everything comes in and wants to take you take your energy everything everyone and everything needs energy okay and with you being detached from yourself you will always give 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 it away and we're, we're not in the practice of doing that anymore. We're not gonna do that anymore. You're gonna take 
and harness and keep your energy. And I am going to continue to show up for you all and bring you energy because I'm, I'm queen of keeping my energy. I'm like, oh, I'll do this by myself. I will come and share this with you. So go ahead and invite some deep breaths. And honestly, thank you guys so much for joining me in this. This is truly just so powerful and amazing of you to take the time to stop your day and meditate. So remember that you are loved, you are honored, you are worthy, you are powerful, and you are healing every single day. You are also healed every day. Nothing is ever calling and pulling at you. That is unnecessary pressure within you. Release the pressure, okay? And through meditation, you find your self-love. You find your grounding. So go out and take a deep breath. And just sigh it out. <sighs> Another. <sighs> Releasing all of that stagnant energy that is no longer yours. That is not your energy. Let it out. Let it go. And we sit with self. Remember, watch your thoughts come and watch them go. Watch them arrive and watch them float away. That was three minutes. That's all you need. It's all you need to begin the groundedness within yourself. It's all you need. Take a moment every day, even if it's three minutes, 
four minutes, go up to five, next you're doing 10, next you're doing 30 minutes of, of sitting with yourself, of feeling yourself, feeling what you feel rather than just running through life. <laughs> I appreciate you all for joining me today. You might feel this, this lightness afterwards. I've been meditating pretty much all morning um, and now I'm gonna go for a walk, but I hope that you are able to, to just feel, feel, feel today, okay? Um, I am Melanie of Melamind and I'm here to help people love themselves. I'm here to help people see the power within themselves, to help them feel the power within themselves. Because after meditation, oh, it comes, it, there's just so much more after this. As human beings, we are very powerful beings. Power exists. And if you are able to find the foundation of self-love, find the foundation of your soul and your body of who you are, you're going to be the most powerful being that you can be. So find ways to come back. Uh, the word is detach, but not too much, but to detach from the world for a moment and, and just check in here check in with the self remember not to judge your thoughts remember not to judge yourself and to always love and cherish yourself always forever okay everything that you desire is within you i have written a online course of unconditional self-love the only way to liberation is through self-love if you find that you're somebody who seeks happiness from the external you buy things you watch things you surround yourself with people um, you put everything on God and put everything on the spirits and everything on things that are outside of you this is your calling to find that power within okay begin with the chakras begin with the breathing begin with the foundation of self the highest light in me recognizes and always sees the highest within you and i just always really want you to feel that love and to understand that love <laughs> hi liana uh, to just feel and understand that love so carry this on throughout your day and thank you for joining I'm sending you so much love, so much love, and um, yeah, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Hi, Liana. Oh, you caught me at the end. 